We are a molecular epidemiology laboratory interested in research on oral and throat cancers. Uh, we mostly work on identification of novel biomarkers to predict disease for early detection or to predict the way that the disease behaves or the way that the disease responds to certain treatments. Our lab is just simply called the Langevin Lab. There's one research associate and one student rotating through our lab right now. I wanted to affect change in the health of society, and that, I thought, came in the form of a doctor. But little did I know that there are so many different professions that affects change and brings about change in the health of society other than just being a physician. Not everybody's called to be a physician, so I chose epidemiology. And epidemiology essentially, as a snapshot definition, is the study of how diseases move throughout groups of people. And uh, if you want to look at a lay example, would be any epidemic that would break out. The city or the government would call more than likely a team of epidemiologists to come together and say, okay, how many people is this going to affect? How does the disease work? You know, who's susceptible? How can we contain it? What are public health initiatives that we can come up with to reduce the prevalence of the disease? So these are the overarching questions that epidemiologists answer, try to answer. I was looking for a job that would help me to do lots of experiments in lab and to stay mostly in lab and be the one doing the experiments and doing the research versus writing grants or writing papers. I was already interested in biology and chemistry and that really interested me and then I was looking for jobs that would give me the opportunity to be right in a lab and pursue that dream and this job opportunity came up as a, basically a lab manager and I decided this would be great because it's exactly what I'm looking for. I think most students interested in going into biology in their later years in high school are at least thinking in the back of their mind about medical school. But ultimately when it came down to it, it wasn't for me. I wanted something more hands-on. I wanted something where I could be a bit more inquisitive and dictate my own research questions. But I think I always was kind of an inquisitive kid, you know, playing in the tidal pools at the beach, digging around in the forest, looking under the logs for the critters that I could find growing up. So I think that probably had a little bit of influence. Science is a great job for women and minorities. There's so many different areas you can go into and collaborate. You can either go into industry, then you can also go into academia. The most rewarding thing about medical research, I've got to say, you know, in a general sense, it's kind of that aha moment that any scientist can tell you about. When you look at a piece of data or look at the results from an experiment and you say, wow, you know, at this moment in time, I'm the only person in the world who knows this. It's a wonderful feeling and it's something that's, that's uh, certainly irreplaceable. I really feel like we can make a difference with our research because cancer is everywhere nowadays and knowing more in depth how it works and how we can treat it is very important and that's why I feel it is good to get down to the core and beat cancer in the butt. Success is every time we have findings that are publishable and, and we were able to uh, publish our results and share them with the world, I, I would call that a, a fairly resounding success. We don't have the man in the white suit pointing at us, telling us what to do and where to look next. We dictate the direction of the lab, and, and that's, that's a lot of fun.